Hello folks, it's Whatever Guy here, and thank you for clicking on this channel to find out whatever happened to Jody Messina. If you've ever sat around the house or talking to your spouse or talking to your friends and ever wondered, whatever happened to someone- Whatever happened to Mary? From your past or some person from your past or maybe even some uh, issue from the past. If you've ever done that and you're a big fan of actually finding out what the answers to those questions are, this is the right channel and this is the right place you're at. Uh, we upload videos two or three times a week, uh, basically answering those type of questions. If you guys have any uh, comments that you'd like to see uh, on future videos of whatever happened to type of things, do me a favor, uh, put those in the comments down in the, in, the, in the comment section, smash that like button, slide that subscribe button, a 50 cent piece, uh, uh, speak softly to that uh, uh, notification button so that it will remind you whenever we shoot these videos and you can be informed on answering those questions about whatever happened to your famous celebrities and people from the past. All right, so uh, stick around for a little bit and we will get on with this video. All right, so I'll tell you guys a little bit about um, uh, Jody Messina and we will click over to her actual uh, YouTube page as we are doing it. And let's see if I can get over here to it. Let's trip. You guys have to take, uh, it's not coming as smooth as I would like. Um, and let's click this off. All right, so as you, uh, it says here that uh, Jody Messina was born in Holliston, Massachusetts, uh, became interested in country music after hearing recordings by Alabama and Hank Williams Jr. Jody had her first public performance when she was six years old and was hooked. She formed a band at the age of 13, performed in clubs throughout the Northeast, and she made the difficult decision to move to Nashville when she was 19 years old. She didn't know anybody there. She didn't have any grand plan, but she knew she wanted to sing. Uh, her self-titled debut, produced by Byron, Byron Gallimore and Tim McGraw, was released in 1996. The album yielded two top ten hits for Jody. Heads Carolina tells California, uh, "You're not in, you're not in Kansas anymore," and it laid the and it laid the groundwork for her breakthrough album, "I'm All Right." The album's first three singles, including the title track, charted at number one when it was released in 19 in 1998. Burn, Jody's number one first album, was released in 1999. Jody's multi-platinum debut spawned two more single, number one singles, That's the Way and Bring on the Rain. In 2005, she, she released her self-titled titled album, Jody Messina. It was followed by the release of her second album, Unconditional Love, in 2007, which was a certified which was certified platinum. In 2009, she released Messina, a duo with Ronnie Dunn, and it became her third platinum album. Her fourth studio album, Bring on the Rain, was released in 2011 and produced two singles that really that really reached number one on country charts. I'm all right and Bring on the Rain. Now I know you're probably asking, uh, you know, the whatever guy, and that still doesn't answer the question of whatever happened to Jody and Messina. So what I've done is I've clicked over here to her uh, YouTube page, and we're going to take a look at it and just click on down. And you will notice that she's got about 60 uh, videos up, and there's some other videos up on another channel called Curb. But you'll notice that there's not any videos that have been made here. Uh, she did a video a year ago, and then there's a couple videos from three years ago and four years ago, and, and so on and so forth. So what I did was uh, clicked on down. I wanted to see her about page and see what she was about and see what was going on with Jody Messina, because as you know, uh, my girl loads uh, has a huge uh, eBay uh, selling platform, and I was loading a quite a few uh, CDs up on uh, her eBay platform and ran across Jody Messina wondering exactly what happened for her. Now, if you click down here to this uh, about down here at the bottom, you'll find a few links to Jody Messina's stuff. Now, one of the one of the interesting links that I found was the Fumbling Mom blog. So I clicked over to that, checked it out, and apparently, uh, several years ago, when she had children, uh, I'm assuming she's got four because we can click on down to this. Uh, she had a Fumbling Mom blog on Tumblr, which uh, she has not posted on, I believe, uh, in seven years. I think the, the nearest post that I had was seven years, but she's got some beautiful pictures of her family on this blog. I believe she's got four kids here, as you guys can see at an Easter egg hunt and so on and so forth, but that still does not answer the question of whatever happened to Jody Messina. Uh, now, what's going on with Jody Messina? So we're going to flip over to Facebook, which is a better uh, thing, and basically what it boils down to is uh on september 17th uh, uh 2000 or excuse me on september 6th of 2017 she was actually 
uh, diagnosed with an unspecified cancer. And then and all her tour dates for 2017 were basically canceled. And she came back in 2018. Uh, in April 2018, uh, Messina appeared on the Huckabee on Trinity Broadcasting Network to debut her new song written by Messina with producer Seth Mosley, Bigger Than This. The song caught the attention of country music and Christian music industries, giving Messina the opportunity to bring new tracks to existing fans while also introducing her to an entirely new space. To follow up, her faith-based original song, Messina, released her own version of Corey Asbury's award-winning Reckless Love to Country and Christian Music, to Country and Christian Radio. Uh, in conclusion, it looks like Jody Messina is still going strong, doing what she loves, hopefully doing what you'd love her to do. she get back on the road. Uh, she's back on the road delivering her Johnny of music, uh, Christian music, right to your doorsteps. Uh, if you guys will notice right here in her um, uh, Facebook page, if you click on down to it after a little bit of hunting, we found it. And <clears throat> as soon as September 4th, we've got a post from Jody Messina. And let's see what she's got to say. Right here in this post. Do, hey guys, it's me, Jody Messina. Come on out and join us. We're doing a show September 11th at the Punxsutawney Commerce Center. You can get tickets by calling the number right here in this post. Do it. We'll see you then. As you guys can see, Jody Messina going strong. We'll click on down. She's in Punxsutawney, uh, Maryland, I believe, at that point right there. Or Punxsutawney, uh, Pennsylvania is where she's at, um, kicking around. And so she's actually still alive, kicking and doing her own thing, man. She's doing Christian music, which is kind of hard to believe. They never specified what type of cancer she actually had, but apparently she was able to get over it rather quickly because she was right back on the road in 2018. Uh, and she started her new career in Christian music. So there you have it, folks. Uh, Jody Messina, uh, Christian music singer, still on uh, the road, still doing uh, uh, tours. And as you can see right here, I will click down to her, uh, if I can ever get up to where she's at. She's actually, looks like she's in her uh, owner. So let's click on that and see what she's got going on. Huh. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. All right, guys. So that's pretty much what she's got going on, and you guys get to check it out. And hopefully, uh, you guys will visit us again so that we can answer more questions about whatever happened to some of your favorite celebrities. All right, folks, it's whatever guy signing off, man. I hope you're having a great week, and I will talk to you in the next recording. See you.